Hello there, here's another video in my tactics series and this one is going to be about hit and run. I, I'm going to go over the uh, custom NPCs hit and run tactic that is built in first and show you how mine is different. And I'd also like to say that at the very end of this video I've got a kind of a variation of this hit and run which is pretty cool so make sure to see that at the end. So right here I have a regular custom NPC and he is set to the standard hit and run. So I just like to go over how he reacts. He kind of randomly runs and it doesn't really um, it doesn't really have any bearing on his health or how many times I hit him. At least it doesn't seem to. I'm not quite I'm not quite sure what it is. It just seems to be random. It seems like sometimes if I leave him alone, he will just stop attacking me. Um, it's hard to say, but then sometimes he, he comes back again. Um, it seems like the more I attack him, sometimes the more he attacks back, which is not good for him since I'm just about ready to kill him here. So, yeah. Okay. So that's the built-in hit and run. Now over here, I have the hit and run that I made, and the in the dialogue there, you can see uh, there's three numbers. The first one is the number of hits I have to do to him before he starts retreating. The second number is how long he retreats, which is in ticks, and the third number is his health. So what I do is when his health drops below 50 he will <laughs> um, as you see the number went up to 440 that's how many ticks he's going to stay away from me now uh, so when it's under 50 it will he will run away further and actually it will take more he will only take one hit when he runs away so I'll show you this here in a second um, yeah, see, he's only ha he he will only take one hit, and then he's going to run away for 600 ticks. Now let me just hit him with my. Let's wait till he gets back up to 50 again, or above 50, I should say, and just hit him with like my empty hand. And uh, he is also set to run away faster than uh, his his speed is set at seven instead of the default um, default five. So here you see, now when he's above 50, he could take three hits before he runs away. And now he can take two. Okay, now it switches to below 50, and it's the time is longer now, and it's only one hit. So I thought that was that was a better way of doing it, basing on the his health condition. Um, that way it gives him a little bit better advantage to heal and things like that and, and his speed I like the, his his fact that he runs away faster um, it's harder to catch him things like that so I mean that could be of course changed you could have him run away or you could have his health uh, uh, well have his hits <laughs> have his 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 retreat change at three quarters health or maybe at a quarter health or you could actually even have uh, two different uh, ranges or something like that two or three different ranges I should say that his uh, tactics change at so like if it dropped below 10 percent he would just he would keep running away until it came above like 10 percent or something like that so and I like the fact that he runs fast it's, it's kind of <laughs> hard to catch him so um, um, I have one more. I have a variation on this, which is kind of. Um, see if I can get through here. Oops. Let's close that door. <laughs> okay, now this is kind of a variation uh, that I was working on first. And this basically, you hit this one and they turn friendly and you can't hit them anymore. So until they have a certain timer, hence. 
until they uh, there you go and once you hit them again they they turn friendly so you just get beat up um, it's kind of silly but uh, maybe maybe it could be used for something let me just okay so here is I've got one more thing out here let's close that up now this is the hit and run guy the same one and I'm just mounting him on this special horse here and this will not work very well uh, in fact it almost doesn't work at all on any sort of contoured landscape it it will work really cool on on flat land but uh, if it, there's any sort of hill or anything like that it really doesn't work very good so let me go back into survival and so he is basically driving that horse that horse is I have to hit him five times here two one there he goes now he's going to retreat and now just for a couple seconds there so uh, I thought this was pretty pretty cool but uh, the problem is I need to work on the navigation to get it to work on <laughs> on on uneven ground so okay yeah, he got stuck there or something so that's it that's it this horse is set to run real fast and basically I can uh, I can also ride one of these horses too and <laughs> this is an NPC horse and basically it just it it's directed by whichever way I'm looking and so but navigating on hills is almost impossible I think I'm confusing him here Yep. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll leave the hit and run script in the description, and that's it. See you later.